Hello and welcome back to Far Changing Tides. This is episode 9. I'm about 18,000 leagues under the ocean f surface. I was going to say floor, but that's not right. And we found a mysterious hatch. Actually, no, it appears to be an entire engine. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to I'm going to hook my grappling hook up to it and see what happens. Nothing bad, one can only hope. I love grappling things with my grappling hook. It's what made Just Cause such a good game. Okay. I predict nothing bad is going to happen when I turn this on. This will all be fine. Look, it's zooming out to show me how good of an idea this is. Oh, it pulled... Oh, I didn't... I was not expecting that. In it. What have I just unhooked? It looked like the arm of the Iron Giant. Where did it go? Oh, that's... I reckon I can steer my ship into that. And it's... It looks like it's just going to be a big crane and it's going to do something. Well, ah, it's going to be a ball like to get it in there as well. I've got to start the engine up. I'll, I'll dip down first because that'll be easier. And then it might, it might just give it to me. That's the wrong way. I mean, look, my ship fits into that perfectly. Surely this is the right thing to do. No, no bad can come of this. Kind of drift in there anyway. I might not even bother turning the engine on and just wait. I can put fuel in the engine though. This is fine. Might be a little bit high if anything. All right, now I now I now I need to get the engine going. I thought the bellows had suddenly broken. I was like, why isn't this working? I'm not even jumping on it. All right, and actually put us in gear will help. Thing is, this, I might not even be supposed to be ramming into this thing. It just feels like I should. It just feels so natural. It's, it's where I belong. Am I even moving? Like very slightly. This feels wrong. Normally when like... Oh, no. I think that got it. This is fine. Oh, this was fine. Oh, it's a hot air balloon. We fly now. Air, land, and sea. Ah. Oh. You know what, if they were going to end the game anywhere, this would be the moment, and then the sequel to this game is, you're just, it's, it, you're on a flying machine now. I feel like this balloon's not going to last. Oh, there's a waterfall. Ah, which means, something, I don't know what. Is this the end of the game? Aeronaut, install the balloon and float over the waterfall. There's a bit in Family Guy where uh, Tom Tucker's introducing Peter on like a red carpet event, and it's like it's Peter Griffin's self-confessed Huguenot. Don't know what that means. I, j I just it, like a Huguenot was like an obscure religious sect. And it reminds me of the word aeronaut. Which I think was also a lackluster adventure film about hot air balloonists. I have no control at this point. Okay, I think I'm just about to regain control. Which tells me the game is still not over. Um, okay, well let's think. What have I got? I've got sails. They'll work up here. So, yeah, definitely juice them. And there's wind. I definitely want to be going forwards. Um, I do appear to be listing quite heavily. I don't know if I have... 
Oh, I bet I can use the engine to produce steam. Can I latch onto there? No. Um, okay, we're that. We're going down. We're going down hard. Okay, right. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Yep. And the thing holding me onto the balloon is gone. All right. Okay, I don't think I had any control over that. That was a shame. I was just about. To, I was like, okay, so the engine probably controls up and down now, the steam aspect, and the, and the sail can still make us go forwards. But nope, it's gone. It's all for naught. But look, there's land behind us. I feel like we're close to something. I don't know what, but something. Let's get that going. Might consider starting the engine. There's no fuel in it. I won't start the engine. I'll just consider it. What is below? Very shallow water. Okay. Can't really do anything with that info. Ah, bloody wind. Be consistent, damn it. The audacity of this soundtrack is like, yeah, we'll, gi we'll give you a bit of a, t a taste of a song every 20 minutes or so, if you've earned it. You have some plinky plonk piano or whatever it is. This definitely feels like we found sort of hope at this stage. There's, we've gone through the, the, the Arctic wastelands. There's, there's some dry land with what could be actual vegetation on it, which is the key. Uh, yes, that's definitely plants. And very little signs of any other humans, which is also a good thing. Because I assume this was a disaster of their own, their own doing, the peoples of this world. It's not Earth, because we haven't found any kind of explosives yet. Below. Still very shallow water. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. Or could something be happening? Yes, I failed to catch the wind. I didn't even notice my sails had gone down. Right, I'm burning some fuel. I want speed. If there, are, if there are people, I want to get to them before nightfall. Right. I'll give this a couple of jumps just to get the fuel burning. Then I'll go and readjust the sail, which I saw go in the moment I decided to start this. Oh, got itself out. It's, it's fine. Right, let's get that fire going more. Okay. Why have I come up here? We've already got the wind. This is unnecessary. Just stay down below. Make all this fuel burn most efficiently. Did that go in? Did that just go in? Yes. That's the trouble. It makes quite a loud noise when it, when it's out in the right position, but but the other way, it's very quiet, as though to trick you. All right. I mean, there was an achievement for full speed at the front. What if there's one for full speed at the back? No, that was stupid. Why would there be? That doesn't make any sense. My sail's just gone in. I'll hop on the bellows twice. Then go back and deal with that. And then I'll remember to hold left trigger so that I can actually see what's going on at all times. Look, look. There's vegetation, there's a box in the water now. We are so close. I think the furnace has gone out. I reckon I'm out of fuel. Yeah. Mm, I shouldn't burn the last of my fuel. Not now. Not when I'm so close to something. I don't think we're going to get any more ship upgrades. I feel like there was... 
there was a little the little fake out there with the with the balloon or maybe that was a tease and we get permanent balloon and I become a sky pirate it's the one game I've never played that I've always kind of wanted to is skies of Arcadia which I assume was about sky pirates I'm not really sure when did I sink down so much Ooh, nearly lost the wind there Okay, the land is thinning somewhat, so I'm starting to think that my earlier hopes about finding land were were dashed in a unpleasant fashion. Rather like in Subnautica, the first one where you first find dry land and it's very disappointing because you're incredibly slow on dry land. Whereas in... Uh, in below zero it's fine when you find dry land because you're just as fast as you were before but there are bears bears run very tempted to go and burn some fuel i'll try and curb that temptation by going below deck and seeing what that brings typical oh we're here anyway wherever here is To leave the sail out and it's just got the wind on its own brilliant that'll be fine that won't cause me any issues in the future will it okay what have we got what is this okay i think this is yep oh wow this is like an ultra efficient thing that that made the blue goo way quicker than my my blue goo generating abilities. Whatever I do, I want it to be full up, though, don't I? You always want full blue goo at whatever you achieve in life. I think my sail is going down. Oh, it's a lighthouse. And if I ever push this button, I feel like it's going to light up. Behold. The power of the blue goo. Yes. I haven't turned it on yet. That just that just puts it into position. This switch will turn it on, I'm sure. Behold. Something. Oh, wait. It's like a beacon? There's definitely a bunch of lenses. Oh, there's fire. That's... Surely that's someone. Okay. What did this mean? <laughs> Uh-huh, right. Let's turn it on. <laughs> A familiar sound. Sound the lighthouse horn. Oh, we've made it through now. Oh, look, my, my sail went down on its own. I knew that would happen. And I've got a way out. Perfect. And I, I only have to hurry a little bit. Otherwise, I might not get back on my own ship. My goal is to jump down right on where the sail button is. But I don't know if I can actually do that. I'm just going to... No, I've got to try. Man's got to have dreams. Plus, we just saw fire in the distance. And we sounded the foghorn to let them know that we're coming. So... Oh, look, you can jump for, drop through that. I knew that. Right. Are we beyond? I think we're safe now. Oh yeah, that's the mast. The sails are a different matter entirely. I knew that. Also, we're going we're going to the left. This is this is just this is wrong. This is mirror mode. I hate this. Look, it's coming towards us. 
Uh. Uh. I can't see the the windsock at the background. I got it anyway. I I did it on feel. And look down below. The other issues. Oh, that no, that's, what, that's the fuel burn. Right, there's land ho, and hopefully there'll be hoes on that land. So I've got to give this everything I've got to get there. Full goddamn speed ahead. If I could use the boost module, now would be the time. Sorry, spanners, you're getting put in your place. You, you're you're needed for the greater good at this point. You kept me sane all that time, but the land ho will do that for me. can't see at all if I've got the wind. No, I haven't, not even slightly. Okay, I think I just accidentally grinded up those spanners. That's fine, I wanted to do that. Right, unfurl. I can actually see when it comes around here, that's a strong benefit. If there was ever a, a, like a late game maneuver, oh, I've lost control. That means I'm probably here. I plan on going full steam ahead. Clearly, work then. Look, look, it's something. I don't know what. Is that a person? It is. It's a person. Is it the person from the first game? You don't fucking remember. I don't. Hey, hey, can you swim? Would you like to bone? Meet Lone. The first game was called Far Lone Sales. Does that impl imply that their name is Lone? If it, if it does, that also implies that this guy's name is something like Tide or possibly Changing. This has got to be it. Like, imagine if now was... Look, look that, on the left, that's the, that's the land ship from the first game. Yeah. Whilst I'm happy they're together, this is a huge tragedy because it now means that they've discovered that there's fuck all to the left and fuck all to the right. Like he's been searching for land his whole life. She's been searching for water. And there's... Well, they both found the beach, I guess. Like how much bigger the new ship is as well. It's it's enormous in comparison. I remember liking the old ship though. I feel like I liked it more. But it's probably just rose tinted glasses. Yeah. Yeah, that were it. That were it. Little nine parter. Didn't exactly plan for it to be that long, but that's fine. Uh, you're very welcome. You know, it's it's why I'm here. The real question is: Is their third game? I, well, I was I felt like they were done here, but I feel like now that there's the, the two of them have found each other. They kind of. It, it could lead it there, but um, should it have? Should it have some more? I definitely feel like I made fun of that guy's name being Stern previously. Fabio Baumgartner. It's a great name. I'm looking at these names. I feel like they're there's a definite, definite strong ethnicity to them. I'm going to assume Europe, certainly. Continental Europe. I would guess more north than south and more east than west. I'd love to get into the special thanks section of, of credits. Because it's clear no one knows what you did. But it's important. Like there's two 
Bumgartner's in there, you assume they're like the family. In fact, given all the co the double repeating names in this, I'm assuming these are family and spouses of of previous developers in the in the credits list. Is that? I can't tell what I'm seeing there. I feel like there's a version of events where they they like mesh the ships together, but I don't really know what the what the uh, boat, like the, the, the water ship, the boat will get out of the land ship. Not really going for broke on the. Uh, on the credit soundtrack, are they? Or the or the, uh, the the concept art? It's um, I could I I was kind of hoping for maybe uh, maybe a like a like an animatic, no, like a storyboard of uh, of all they found each other, they're, they're rebuilding society, or they or they're gonna quietly commit suicide after after like a couple of days of living in despair. Also, these credits are all over the place. We had like the developers' credits, and then all the special thanks, and and now we're in the publishers' credits. It's like, what, what is this? Special thanks goes at the end, surely. Seeing if I can make fun of any of these names, but they're all just a bit weird. Like James Jungus. Or Egg Beglin. What I'm seeing most about this is that uh, we really need more women in games design. It's. <laughs> I'm 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 making some bold assumptions, but a lot of these feel like much more male names, so like, like Hamish and Tobias and Sarah. Maybe not that one. Rusty. Again, that's that doesn't feel like a woman's name, does it? There's a Natalie in there though. And possibly Joe and Daniel. I my instinct says no, but possibly. Catherine, that's a definite, I'd say. Chad Young is the senior director. Head of, head of brand marketing Dan King. That's that's a dangerous name. That's asking for trouble. Influencer manager. That that strikes me as a woman's name. As the senior events manager. really hard to uh, pay attention to these when it like the music's almost entirely stopped there's the gentle rocking of the ocean which is making me quite sleepy if anything and there's there's no longer any kind of artwork in the background which is weird because th this game had a lot of a lot of look to it I feel like there's a lot of concept art kicking around somewhere we still, I can't I can't tell if it's sort of my eyes playing tricks on me from looking at the dark, but it looks like it's trying to fade something in. There's simply no way of knowing. I was about to make fun of Samantha Cox's last name because it's Cox, but then Joe Laycock came up and like that was that was even that that was like that was even more. I don't. I don't even know what we're looking at anymore. Maybe. I, maybe I got the credits backwards. Maybe the, no. I have no idea. Because it felt like the credits at the front were all of like the, all of the designers, and now there's like a whole another section is. Is is all of that? Okay, text project manager. He had an easy time with this. 
not a lot of text in this game. In fact, outside of the menus, I'm not sure there's been any. Keyword Studios Katowice. Yeah, there's a lot of Polish going on there. There is not enough vowels in either of those two names. And it's confusing they have the same first name as well, I assume. Conrad Zpla? I think when there's a C and a Z next to each other, the, the key is to like partially ignore both of them. <laughs> so there's there's Fokinski, Glinski, Jasinski, all next to each other, and then uh, I don't I, I, I is Dawid's color color uh, There's too much. There's too much going on. I don't know. My my. When I read shit, I can like if there's a couple letter combos I'm not familiar with, fine, I can I can have a go. But that was that was the whole goddamn name. I had nothing there. It was F Mod Studio by Firelight Technologies. Google fronts the so I don't know. I think F Mod's a bit like an engine. I'm guessing it's got that vibe to it. I don't think we're going to get like any kind of bonus content at the end of this, are we? It feels feels very final. This is just a... This is terms and conditions now. I don't think they had to put these in the credits. This seems odd to me that they're here. Okay, what do we think? Just, uh, no, straight back to menu. I, I I thought there'd be something more than that. Oh, well. Stats, what have we got? Total distance travelled, 29 kilometres. Travelled using ship sails, about 20,000 kilometres. Travelled using ship engine, 18,000, which tells me there was approximately an amount where I did both. I don't, I don't think I can tell how much. Travelled using ship boost 82 meters. Time ship repair 21. Items burned in the ship 43. So 43 items burned, and that got, and that moved us 18 kilometers, which isn't actually too much. It's, it's, it's a little bit more than two items per kilometer, I think, but. I used I moved some of those kilometers. I, I uh, no, I can't tell. Well, well, that was fun. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.